and welcome back. So I thought I'd do it a little bit different this time. I'm not really going to do any coding, but I'm going to explain what I did. So in this tutorial, we're going to talk about a button, checkbox, label, panel, and text box. Now, label we already made, but I made some modifications to uh, uh, the UI manager. Just because uh, I didn't like the fact that every time you instantiated the object, you'd have to give the manager. So what I did differently this time, I made a little class that we'll call initialize, and it will set the manager. So uh, if you want an object, you will say in um, in your test class here, uh, which is UI manager, you will say. Um, Create control and it will uh, and call in instantiate or it will call initialize, initialize. But before that, it will set the the manager so it will know who its owner is. Okay, so to start off with, um, yeah, this is all I changed. Made the templated class it's not that complicated. Um, what else did I change? I think I yeah, that's about it. On the UI manager. Now, UI control. Um, yeah, so I removed uh, removed the the constructor where it re wanted a um, pointer to manager. Okay, so in label, um, I basically force you in uh, UI control also. Um, I force you to uh, have initialize, which is a virtual function. Well, technically, I don't force you, but um, um, I want you to ha at least have uh, have one. So, and then I moved uh, anything that was in the constructor of label into into the here. That's basically it. Okay, so that's it for label. Now UI button. I did the same. But we do, or yeah, well, you guys haven't seen it yet, so let's start with that. Um, you have button type, I have uh, icon only, text only, icon and text. Um, I don't think I implemented icon and text fully yet. I guess it's up to you guys to finish it. But what it will allow you to do, if we run it for a second, I can show you. Just so you visually see what's, uh, what it can do. Uh, while it builds, let's uh, talk about the rest. It has an event. Um, uh, you, if the button type changes, etc. Um, get button type, set button type. So what I did, the idea behind this is I have... Um, here, I'll show you. So this is a button, and this is the same button. It's just this is icon only, and this is uh, text. Not that complicated. So... So what I decided to do is to have all the logic in the library. So right here, uh, under the lib, and all the drawing code. Uh, so you inherit from from uh, UI button. You inherit from it, and all you do is implement the drawing code. So um, technically, these should have gone uh, into the UI manager. But it's up to you guys to, to fix it or make it better. This is just something I wrote pretty quickly. Um, so yeah, we'll go over this in a second. Um, I generally made it quite simple. Um, so here, yeah, it doesn't do much. Um, so that's that. Go to text box. I have a, a timer, a flip flop timer. So when if when you're typing, the cursor blinks on and off. Um, go to definition here. 300 milliseconds on, 300 milliseconds off. We start the timer the moment it uh, starts. In the update, um, we do some checking. Uh, t this is for if you um, when you're typing so only if you have focus 
it will uh, get the keys that are pressed and either input it if you have a backspace it will remove something off of the list and here it is it will add and it has some draw stuff well because this is just the font it's very easy you just draw the font um, it doesn't have a background the background we draw I draw that uh, here in the draw function okay so that's text box now for checkbox uh, you have the is checked uh, and set checks quite simple uh, an event listener I guess we could call it unchecked there we go um, so we have initialize which is the same it sets up initial in a listener and yeah the mouse up event um, you don't have to do a mouse up event you can um, I did it for mouse up event but you could also use on click because if you leave the field if I'm not mistaken it would still register as a click oh, fine. Uh, this would be on there we go I thought it would uh, change it here as well it didn't so let me see for a second if I click here yeah see it registers even if I leave and what you want is when you press to not click so yeah um, it might be better to use on click for that one which we can do so we can do um, go we did this and then this would be click and we would update now oh, let's make a capital C it looks better that way and this would go here and this one so now it should only register on click and it would work better um, ah okay yeah wait why is this um, this is checkbox label on mouse up Ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not a uh, mouse up. We also want to do unclick here. This is just, um, this is part of the label, of course. Click. On mouse click. There we go. Um, nope, that was not what it's called. It's called... What was it called? I already forget what it's called. On must click event, that's what it's supposed to be called. There we go. And that should fix it. There we go. We built. Let's run it and check it. But now if I leave, it doesn't re-register. Which is what we want, right? So if I go back in and then I click, then it would still work. But if I leave and click, there we go. 
So yeah, that was a better way of doing it. Um, so yeah, this is the checkbox. Very simple, I'm not doing much here. What else? Text box, did it, yeah, we already went over that one. Label, button. Yeah, okay, so we've done everything for this. Um, you can get the code on GitHub. I thought, I thought this would be a lot easier just going over it once. Um, that way, it, um, how do I say it? We can continue on with the tutorial. And it's up to you guys to use this and make other components. I think I made enough so, to um, at least make a game with. Uh, so yeah, so in the button, we inherit from UI button. We get the sprite sheet that we're using. Uh, we do this in initialize. So if we go to initialize here, we uh, get the, the sprite sheet. So if you didn't know earlier, I was trying to get a different sprite sheet working, but I decided this one uh, looks a, has a lot more, and it also has a progress bar, and that's what I really wanted. So you can do like a health, uh, health and a progress bar. So this UI sheet was a little bit better. Also made by Kenny. Okay, so and then we have all our uh, listeners. Or our, our functions actually uh, that we were using to listen to and our draw and set icon if you want to set an icon while well, icon is minus one so if you don't want the icon you set it back to minus one so let's go into here here you can see we get it if UI sheet's not there. We say, hey, something's wrong. Um, we create a label. We add the label to this control. We set our events. And um, here's text chains. These are all our events. Um, I mean, it's not that complicated just things that have to happen so in our draw you have part where it's only icon only or text only and like I mentioned I didn't have one for both so you guys can make it for both um, so yeah I use a different um, sprite for um, what you call it for, for the background I, oh yeah I actually made, made one I actually drew this one out so it would fit for this one so yeah up and down so that's what these two are and then you have the background or the icon and likewise for this where you check the the width and you stretch it out and you draw the uh, the red lines around it and then you call the base um, not that complicated it just looks very interesting Checkbox is the same. I mean, we can go over to the header file and actually have a look. Uh, you have a sheet, we have a label, we have some functions that we're listening to, which is here. Um, initialize, we create our label, we set our sprite sheet, we check for errors, we set our listeners, and then drawing. All I do is we draw um, the sprite, if it's checked or not, get our position, and uh, debug mode, draw our line, and draw the base. It's very simple. Um, I mean, yeah, if location change, we have to update our label, of course. See, so we set our, uh, we update our label. So if we look here, I don't know if, you, if I've shown it before, but if debug mode is on, here you can see this is our checkbox and this is our uh, label. And if we were to move it, it would uh, follow at the same position. Actually, we could put it a little bit down. Maybe there's a bug. 
And lastly, is it lastly? I oh wait, a panel. Um, yeah, here's just the background for the panel. Um, we draw the top, we draw the center, we draw the bottom. We stretch it in different ways. This we stretch in width, and this we stretch in width and height. And the bottom. And debug mode we draw. Technically, we could remove this, move this out here. Um, not that big of a deal. And you can also not draw it. So if you don't want a background, you don't have to draw it. The panel was one of the easiest ones. And text box here. Um, basically, what I did, instead of... Because we already are able to draw text. So what I did was basically just... Um, so I call the draw after, and then I draw my UI, but I draw it outside of the bounds. So here you can see that pretty clearly. See, I draw my text outside the bounds of, um, of the text here. So technically this is not part of the text box, but it helps. Um, yeah, draw debug. The UI sheet. Figure out where. Yeah, it's not that complicated. So, that's about it. You can make some very interesting controls or, or UI elements quite easily. So the next tutorial I'll talk about, so let's say my progress bar, scroller, and combo box. And uh, tune in next time. Look we'll all over the code and uh, on GitHub, and um, tell me what you guys think and if we need to change some stuff.